Coach, what's been, I guess, your early impression so far in camp? That we're going to strain. We're going to strain, strain, strain. And, 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 and our standard, the, the Miami standard, won't be compromised. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to continue to push for it. We're going to continue to demand it. And, uh, uh, you know, we're going to get there. Manny was talking about in the scrimmage, 71% um, of the passes were completed, which means you guys were catching the ball. Yep. Um, but not a lot of yards after catch. Yeah, we were limited on, on, on our yak yards. And, and that's one thing <clears throat> that, you know, we designed plays to, to get a certain amount of yards. And, yes, that's great. We got them. That's, that's efficient, all that good stuff. But, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're evaluating a player, even in recruiting, right, in recruiting, you're looking for things that guys can catch the ball. How's his route running? But one thing that stands out to guys is who can make plays? Who has that playmaking ability? And so, you know, we, we, we need to continue to improve on that, whether it be getting dirty yards after a catch or whether that be making somebody miss and, 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 and you know, winning an open field uh, tackling contest and, and, and creating some more. Is there a guy who you feel like took a jump over the summer in your mind? I think all the guys have, all the guys took a jump, honestly. I, and I'm not trying to be like, you know, a, a raw, raw, raw guy. All the guys took a jump, okay? Uh, Coach Feely and, and, and what they did in, that, in, in, in the summer workouts. I mean, you're talking about Mike Harley put on 15 pounds and lost, uh, and lost body, uh, body fat, you know? Um, KJ Osborne put on some pounds, lost. Jeff, I mean, all of my guys improved somehow. And so, um, all that summer workout is, is absolutely awesome. It's vital to what we do. And then now we, I mean, shoot, last, what, 10 days? Now it's about playing football. So that has to transition into their stamina, especially at my position, their stamina, how, how, how long they can put that max uh, speed out there. And so um, all the guys took jumps. We just, we just need to see, you know, more consistency in regards to football playing. Coach, what have you seen from Jeff, especially coming off everything he went? Um, what have I seen from Jeff? I've seen Jeff get, we're trying Jeff. We're, we're going to challenge the heck out of Jeff. Jeff, Jeff has a chance to be very special. Like all the guys have, a, all the guys that are recruited to play here at Miami have a chance to be special. Um, and, and, and we're going to challenge and continue to challenge Jeff. And, and, and like I said earlier, to play to the Miami standard. And, and so, um, he's, he's definitely trying to answer it and, and, and we're not going to, we're not going to let off. Said when you first got here was to develop the relationship with all your players. Yeah. Specifically, was asked about Jeff. And, yeah. And just kind of curious how that has gone, how has that progressed, or where is things today? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I, I try not to have my head buried in the sand, so I'm not um, oblivious to things. I know that it, it, a, a relationship is continued to, to be built, um, but I think that we are on the right path. I think that he is starting to trust me. I think I've been consistent with what I've said. I've been consistent with, with my actions. And, and that's what I ask from them as well. Like, I'm gonna communicate to you guys, you guys communicate to me, okay? I want you guys to trust me, but you guys should want me to trust you as well. And so that, that's all part of this relationship building and, and, and you know, we're, we're working on it every day. I'm on the evidence. Do a couple more questions. Evidence to Joku. I mean, you, you look at him running around out there. You know, he looks like a gazelle and he's yeah. got size and the whole thing. How's he coming along as a player? You know, I mean, evidence has, as everybody knows, you look at his physique. He's a he's a he's a good-looking specimen, um, and so just constant daily reminders of of improving his skill as a receiver. And so we know he's athletic. We just got to continue to improve his his skill at the wide receiver position. Mark Pope talked to us uh, quite a bit about just having to learn the offense, really learn more than just the nine route. You know, Where is he in that progress as far as mastering the playbook in your eyes and being able to run everything maybe you asked him to do? Well, I, I think mastering the playbook won't happen even in year one, okay. even with the brightest guy. You know, One of the things that um, we talk about in my, in my room is, is understanding the what, the how, and the why in order to become a complete receiver, okay? What we did in the spring was try to learn what to do. <laughs> you know, we, we were trying to just get lined up, trying to figure out what we're doing. Now we're at the part now where we're trying to learn how to do it, okay? Truly how to do it based off what the technique is that the defense is showing, the, reading our triangle, trying to see what the whole, whole coverage is, the technique that the DB may, play in, may be playing us. So 
Mark and the rest of the guys, I mean, they, they, we're going to continue to install, install, install. So, yeah, there's going to be some times when, when uh, we're not as sharp as we need to be. But we've also shown flashes when we, we've been pretty, pretty sharp. So it, it's fun to be in this offense. Okay, if you're a receiver, you want to play in this offense because of the resume that you're going to build uh, for the next level. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it.